Hello everyone. This is Devanshi and you are watching Science Q. The multicellular organisms including plants and animals contain millions and trillions of cells organized complexly. These cells play same role in almost all of them, but still the cells of different species significantly differ from each other. The plants and animals are easy to differentiate by their appearance and unique characteristics. Similarly, they exhibit some prominent differences at the cellular level. In this video, we shall be discussing how the plant cells and animal cells differ from each other in detail. So without further ado, let's begin. The plants come under kingdom Plantae. They are multicellular entities comprised of differential eukaryotic cells. The plant cell is the most basic, fundamental and functional unit of any plant body. On the other hand, the animals belong to kingdom Animalia. The animal body is multicellular that comprises finely distinguishable eukaryotic cells. The animal cells can be considered as the most basic, fundamental and functional unit of any animal body. Different cells in animals have different shapes, sizes and are assigned with specific purposes for the optimal functioning of body. The cell wall is rigid, non-living and permeable covering that surrounds the plasma membrane. The plants have a cell wall that is made up of cellulose. It is the outermost covering of plant cell that makes it firm and rigid. In contrast, the animal cell is devoid of cell wall. Thus, the outermost layer of the animal cell is cell membrane. The plants are the only living entities that have potential for photosynthesis and thus they are the most precious pillars of ecosystem. This is because the plant cells are capable of using naturally available raw material like water and carbon dioxide to prepare food in the form of carbohydrates. For this reaction, the sunlight acts as an energy source that is trapped by chlorophyll. On the other side, the animal cells are devoid of photosynthetic ability due to lack of chlorophyll pigment. This is why the animals rely on plants and the other different organisms for nutrition. The vacuoles are big sized storage bag of the cells to store food. Moreover, they not only store the necessary components but also the cell debris that gets generated as a byproduct after some metabolic reactions. The vacuoles contain high range of dissolved salts, sugars, pigments and other toxic waste. They also provide physical support and contribute in giving color to leaves and flowers. The plants have gigantic vacuoles. Sometimes the vacuoles occupy more than half of the cell's area, that is almost 90% of the total cell volume. This is because the plant cells require more storage to store the food that is prepared during the photosynthesis as well as to store the waste products generated after photosynthesis. On the other hand, the animal cells do not require much storage. Thus, in animal cells, either there are no vacuoles or are very few smaller ones. The chloroplast is a unique feature that is found only in plant cells. These are specialized plastids to store green color pigment called as chlorophyll. The chloroplast contains other parts like thylakoids and stroma where the chlorophyll is present. The chlorophyll has the ability to capture photons from sunlight, thereby enabling the process of photosynthesis in plants. The chloroplast also acts as a site for photosynthetic reactions and preparation of food. Along with chloroplast, plant cells also contain other plastids that store different colorful and colorless pigments. They are called chromoplast and leucoplast respectively. On the other side, the chloroplasts are completely absent in animal cells. Due to this, they lack chlorophyll and also lack the ability of photosynthesis. The lysozymes are rarely present in plant cells. Whereas, the animal cells contain large-sized enzyme-filled lysosomes. The lysosomes are considered the suicide bags of the cell. They have acidic lumen which degrade the materials engulfed by the cell worn out cellular membranes and useless organelles. It remains filled with several different enzymes that are capable of degrading any unwanted cellular or non-cellular debris. 
Cytokinesis is the final step of cell division. It terminates the cell cycle by dividing the parent cell into two. This division leads to the equal distribution of the entire protoplasm. In plants, cytokinesis takes place with the formation of cell plate. The cell plate is generated in the middle portion of the parent cell and as after getting matured, it stretches until it fuses the peripheral cell wall forming two different plant cells. On the other side, in animal cells, only a cleavage furrow is sufficient for segregation of parent cell into two daughter cells since they lack cell wall. The plant cells are completely devoid of cilia. On the other hand, some types of animal cells possess cilia. For instance, the cilia are present in the cells of intestine and esophagus. The centrioles are barrel-shaped paired entities present in the cytoplasm, specifically beside the nucleus or the nuclear envelope. They mainly serve the role of cell skeletal system and help in determining the location of different organelles in cell. In plant cells, centrioles are completely absent. Whereas in animal cells, the centrioles are always present during the cell division. Mitochondria is called as the powerhouse of the cell. Its major function is to generate energy in the form of ATP. The plant cells have huge number of mitochondria as they require more ATP to perform photosynthesis. On contrary, the number of mitochondria are comparatively less in the animal cells. Now, let us quickly revise the differences between plant cell and animal cell with the help of a comparison chart. The plant cell is the basic, fundamental and functional unit of any plant body. On the other hand, the animal cell is the basic, fundamental and functional unit of any animal body. The plant cells have cell wall as their outermost layer. Animal cells on the other side lack cell wall and the plasma membrane is their outermost layer. Chloroplast, that is a plastid, are present in the plant cell. They contain chlorophyll. On the other side, the chloroplasts are completely absent in the animal cells. The plant cells contain large sized vacuoles to store food and waste product, whereas vacuoles are either absent or are rarely present in animal cells. Cytokinesis in plants occurs via formation of cell plate. On the other hand, in animal cells, cytokinesis occurs via cleavage formation or cleavage furrow. Lysosomes are absent in plant cells, whereas the lysosomes are present in animal cells. Large number of mitochondria are present in the plant cell, whereas the number of mitochondria are comparatively less in the animal cells. The plant cells are capable of performing photosynthesis and producing their own food. On the other hand, the animal cells lack chlorophyll and thus cannot perform photosynthesis. The plant cells are non-ciliated, whereas some of the animal cells are ciliated. The plant cells are devoid of centrioles during the cell division. In contrast, the centrioles are always present during the cell division in animal cells. So guys, that was all for today. Hope you found this video useful, interesting and informative. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon. Do like, share and comment your suggestions in the comment box. Until next time, this is me Devanshi signing off.